There is quite a lot of debate among electric car enthusiasts as to whether plug-in hybrids are a viable option and whether they're a compromise too far. Many people think that drivers should just switch straight to full electric because the technology is already good enough and the same applies for businesses. But it is understandable why some fleet managers for big companies might not want to switch all their vehicles over to full electric and therefore plug-in hybrid seems like a good way to dip your toe into the water. With this in mind, geofencing has become a genuinely useful piece of technology and could even save a business money when entering low emission zones. So what is geofencing and how can it benefit business fleets and drivers? Before we take a look, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future content. Firstly, let's agree that any reduction in tailpipe emissions is good, or at least better for the local environment. Now, I'm not talking about climate change here, nor am I talking about the fate of the human species longer term. I am thinking specifically about our health right now. Fewer emissions in the places where we work, shop, play, learn and so on means fewer health conditions caused by car emissions. Now it's obvious that full electric cars have zero tailpipe emissions. That makes driving around without polluting the area around you is pretty easy. But for many reasons, not every driver or business has or will move to a full EV just yet. Plug-in hybrids or PHEVs or FEVs as they're sometimes known are an easier electric pill to swallow for many drivers while some fleet managers prefer them because of the added flexibility the petrol engine offers combined with the battery and electric motor of course and it's not such a big change in behavior for the drivers. In short, you get the benefit of limited zero emission driving and you're able to test the waters to see if electric driving will work for your entire fleet without compromising on range because there's still a full fat petrol engine under the hood. Now, this video isn't about debating the rights and wrongs and the pros and cons of plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. It's about geofencing. Plug-in hybrids usually have three driving modes, which pretty much equate to full petrol, full electric, and a bit of both, or hybrid mode. The idea is you use the petrol engine on bigger roads or longer drives and full electric when popping to the shops or if you want to avoid polluting the area you happen to be in. The slight problem here is it relies on the driver to select the right mode for the appropriate scenario. It would be easy to forget to switch to full electric when you perhaps should, especially if you're a delivery driver for example and you're just focused on your actual job of delivering parcels. This is where geofencing comes in. Geofencing allows a business or fleet manager to set up zones that dictate what driving mode the vehicle should be in. Once a vehicle enters said zone, it will automatically switch to the driving mode that has been set, such as full electric. Geofencing can help fleets and individual drivers use plug-in hybrid vehicles so they have the least impact on the local environment, such as near a school or in an urban area. A fleet manager could set up, for example, an ultra-low emissions zone, so when the vehicle enters it, it would automatically switch to full electric mode. And you can see how this sort of technology would have benefits specifically for businesses who have drivers operating in London and other cities that have ultra low emission zones. Currently, plug-in hybrids will still have to pay to enter an ultra low emission zone or other clean air zones, but at least your fleet will be helping to reduce emissions in the most congested and polluted urban areas. The technology is gaining traction too. Just recently, Ford announced its new transit plug-in hybrids will include the equipment necessary for geofencing, while existing transit plug-in hybrids can have the tech fitted retrospectively. BMW has gone as far as including geofencing technology as standard on some of its new plug-in hybrids. The technology can be applied to any number of scenarios. For example, drivers might drive past the same school every day on the way to a job or depot. 
no problem. Simply set a green zone around the school and the vehicle will switch to full electric whenever it's in proximity, assuming it has been charged of course. So can geofencing benefit your fleet? Only a fleet manager can truly answer this question. On a financial level, you'd need to weigh up the cost of implementing this technology in your existing fleet or upgrading to a fleet that already has it built in. If your fleet is upgraded regularly or on cycles and you're considering plug-in hybrids, it's certainly worth looking at a vehicle that has geofencing technology built in. While plug-in hybrids are not exempt from the ultra low emission zone charge, they can avoid the London congestion zone charge if the vehicle's emissions are below 75 grams per kilometer. From an air quality and environmental perspective, there is obviously a benefit to the fleet being able to automatically switch to pure EV mode. You'll be able to reduce the business's emissions, which is clearly beneficial for our towns and cities and the people in them, but it also shows your company is trying to reduce its carbon footprint. The big question though is, is this technology a bit late to the party? Geofencing is undoubtedly a great piece of tech that fleets and potentially smaller businesses can use to maximize the zero emissions capability of their vehicles. But Given how fast the uptake of full electric vehicles is, has it arrived too late and will it simply be superseded by vehicles that are zero emissions all the time? Full electric car registrations were up 259% year on year in July 2020 and the EV market share of the overall car market is almost doubling each year. Many businesses and fleet managers are already looking at transitioning to full electric vans and cars. After all, the savings can be enormous and they are zero emissions all the time, making the need to switch between driving modes completely redundant. DPD, BT Openreach and British Gas have all either ordered thousands of fully electric vehicles or they're trialing them currently. In many cases, it will make more economical and environmental sense to make the jump to full electric. If you'd like to learn more about the financial case for switching to a fully electric van, for example, we have an article that is just what you're looking for. You can find that in the link in the description below. But otherwise, what do you think? Do you think geofencing is a really useful tool for fleets and businesses? Or do you think it's just extending the life of a vehicle technology that you think is just out of date and made redundant by full electric technology? Let us know down in the comments below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you'd like us to cover more topics like this. See you next time.